Today, we're diving into one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. We've got some interesting news about its internals, and it's not all about Qualcomm this time. There's a lot of buzz about Samsung possibly using MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 for the base model in certain regions. Let's get into the details and what this could mean for both the smartphone and chipset markets. When it comes to flagship smartphones, Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips have been the go-to for years. However, for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, things might be taking a surprising turn. While many expect the premium Galaxy S25 Ultra to feature Qualcomm's next-gen Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, the base model of the Galaxy S25 might rely on MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 chip in certain markets. Why the shift? It comes down to price and performance. The Dimensity 9400 is reported to offer competitive performance while coming in at a lower price point compared to Snapdragon's offerings. This move could allow Samsung to provide a more affordable version of their flagship while still delivering solid performance. So what's driving this change? One of the key reasons is the rising cost of producing cutting-edge chips. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to be quite pricey due to its use of TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer manufacturing process. This technology brings more power and efficiency, but it also comes with a significant price tag. TSMC, the chip manufacturer, has seen its wafer prices, essentially the building blocks for these chips, double over the past few years. This increase in production cost is being passed down to the final product. In contrast, MediaTek seems to be positioning its Dimensity 9400 as a cost-effective alternative that can still deliver competitive performance without breaking the bank. For Samsung, choosing to use MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 in the Galaxy S25 base model could be a strategic move. The company has to balance between offering premium features in its Ultra model and making sure the base version remains competitive in price. The Dimensity 9400, also built using TSMC's 3 nanometer process, is rumored to be significantly cheaper than Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. By offering two different chips for the same model in different markets, Samsung could tailor its pricing strategy more effectively. It's a balancing act between performance, innovation, and affordability. It's impossible to talk about high-end chips without mentioning Apple. The A18 Pro chip used in the iPhone 16 Pro Max is reportedly much less expensive to produce compared to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. This is largely due to Apple manufacturing its own chips, which allows them to keep costs lower by avoiding the extra margin that third-party suppliers like Qualcomm must add. Apple's ability to control the entire process from design to manufacturing gives them a significant advantage in pricing, but that doesn't necessarily mean Qualcomm or MediaTek are falling behind in innovation. Qualcomm is working on custom CPU cores for its Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, rather than relying on the license ARM designs they used in the past. This shift could lead to better performance and more efficiency, but it also adds to development costs. Looking ahead, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be a powerhouse. Whether Samsung sticks with Qualcomm for all models or introduces MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 in specific regions, it's clear they're aiming to offer options that appeal to a wide range of consumers, let us know in the comments which version of the Galaxy S25 you're excited about and why. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, 
making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro Series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, 
while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.